Hi everyone, welcome back to our next video. Uh, today we're going to meet Jim. Uh, he's uh, famous on my forum. The man is so helpful. This man has a heart of gold and I just was so delighted when he came out here to uh, Arizona and I got a chance to meet him. Uh, you were at the RTR this yep. last year. Yep. And uh, my first year, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I learned a ton and, and got used to being around people. And That was a lot of people. That was a lot of people. Yeah. Um, more, more people than I'm used to. Yes, most of us, I would think we could all say that. Uh, and you've not been a full-timer up till now. I started uh, New Year's Day. New Year's Day of uh, 2016. 2017. 2017. Right. And, but you've been a long time part-timer. Yes. I've been boondocking uh, since 1987. In, uh, in different RVs, I'm assuming. Uh, vans, a Can-Tam trailer, tents, and, and for six years this. Uh-huh. And uh, you're from in Colorado. Uh-huh. Denver, Colorado. And so you've boondocked all over Colorado. Uh, yep, we, we pretty much covered the mountains. Yeah, and uh, so how did that go for you? You're pulling a trailer, but you've been in a little bit of everything. Did, were you able to get around okay in the trailer? Oh yeah, we, we pull, I pulled this with a, a Ford Expedition, and sometimes it's really slow going, but it, it'll roll over amazing things. So you have four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. So you just put her in granny gear and crawl along. That's right. It'll go over basketball-sized rocks. Oh wow! And so we'll uh, we'll look at the trailer more. What kind of trailer is it? It's a, a 2011 Amerilite 25-foot uh, bunkhouse. And so you, what led you to uh, go full time? Um, I, I became disabled, and I wasn't able to run my company any longer. And my lover wanted to continue running the company and wanted to continue staying in the house and, and staying in Denver. So I was bought out and I went full time and here I am. So the idea of just staying at home didn't appeal to you? No, I'm, I'm becoming paralyzed slowly. And so while I can, I, I'm gonna. Yeah, no, don't wait. Right. Grab life now while you can. Right. That's true for all of us, I believe, but especially true if you know health problems are coming. Yes. Um, and, and I would have never have thought I could do this in, until I found the forum. I, I knew I could go boondocking for a month at a time, but I, I never thought about going full time. And so how's it going so far? You're finding places? Finding places. I'm, I'm having a blast. I, I got Max the Wonder Puppy here. Um, he, he keeps me walking and, and happy and doing stuff. Um, I, I'm learning to be in, in small groups. I, 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 I thought I'd just go out to the middle of nowhere by myself and, and that would be life. And it, it's not true. There's, there, there's groups of people that get together and, and do this. And uh, it, it's nice to have somebody not right on your doorstep, but not be completely isolated from the world, too. So were you a little bit afraid of being lonely? Oh, no. 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 I, uh, when we boondocked, the, the reason we went the four-wheel drive route was to be completely isolated. Um, but it just was nice not having to be completely isolated. Uh, so you met a lot of people at the RTR. Uh, for those of you who don't know Jim, if you're not on the forum, uh, you are something of an expert on several topics. Now, you won't, you won't say you are, but I'm an expert on several topics, I think. And yeah. you know as much or more than I do, much more, I would say, on, on solar and on the Internet. Yep. Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know. Um, you're just shout, You're humble. I, 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 I learned solar the hard way. I, I, I didn't read about it. I, I bought some panels and put them in my driveway and grabbed a couple of meters and let's see what happens when and, and learned about that. And um, the internet, because the Rocky Mountains are so hard to have internet in, you, you can be on one side of a drive and, and Verizon will work and on another side of a drive T-Mobile might work or AT&T. Right. So I, I ha had to find ways to stay connected. 
uh, back when I was still running the company, I, I had to be connected to those people. Also, you are uh, something of an expert on solar cooking. You I, have a numerous devices yourself. Yep, I, I, I have three. I have a solar cooker and two solar ovens. I use them pretty much any day. It's sunny. I, I can cook anything but deep fry and fry. So, uh, folks, we're going to talk to Jim about most of those things. Uh, solar for sure, because he's got so much solar. And st Jim, you run your AC off of your solar. I, I run my AC off my solar. I, I that two burner hot plate, uh, small heaters. Uh, my water heater is is electric. Um, they I, I have propane backups for everything but the AC. But um, yeah, it saves me a lot of propane. It's I don't need my generator. I, I have a little generator, but it just doesn't get run. So we'll have a we'll have another video on Jim being telling us all about solar and another one about um, uh, internet, how to get really super cheap internet. Yeah. So uh, you still check back for those. So being very familiar with those topics at the RTR, you kind of got. Uh, for those who don't know, let me tell you the rubber tra RTR is Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, a large gathering in January in Quartzsite, Arizona. So you were kind of swamped by people. Uh, you taught classes Yep. on each of those topics. Yeah, I, I uh, had two talks on solar cooking and pretty much continuously did talks on Internet. Then uh, I, I taught people how to buy the right devices they needed for and, and get cheap Internet. Uh, some of it's free, some of it's $5 a month, some of it's... Uh, a, a little more, but it's, you know, it, it, it's all unlimited. And so afterwards, it's been a couple months since then now, uh, you're traveling with groups and meeting more people along the way? Yeah. Um, I, I, I still hear from people from the, the RTR. Being somewhat of an introvert, would that be a fair s yeah. assessment that you're some, somewhat of an introvert? You're just learning to find a balance with too many people around? Um, I, 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 I like, I, I can handle small groups and, and as long as I can get a, have my distance when I need it. The, the number of people that the RTR was <laughs> exhausting. It was, yes. It, it, was. it, uh, it, it, it was nerve wracking actually. Yeah. Um, I, I had, uh, I, I started out the first day I, I was in the RTR and the next morning I pulled out and went a distance away and I stayed out uh, in, until I gave my talk on solar cooking and, and the internet and, and I stayed in it for the rest of the time and there, there were days that I, I was ready to pack it up and, and go a few washes away and, and I, I kept myself there and a couple of the people were helping be my shield um, so I, I, I was very grateful for that and they they kept me sane. So, for those who don't know, the 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 RTR River Tramp Rendezvous was extremely large. There were a minimum of five hundred people, probably more this this last year. Right. Yeah. Uh, the only one missing was you. So next year we're expecting you to be there, and it will be complete. So, um, uh, one thing people a number of questions I ask everyone I interview is, how are you supporting yourself on the road when? I was bought out of my company and the house and all of my possessions. I got a check, and that's all I've got. Uh, so you're on savings for the moment. I, I'm on savings. Um, there, there's a possibility that I might be able to get on disability because of my uh, because I'm becoming paralyzed, and that's it. And you can't work. I, I mean, I, you I, are I, so I, limited. I, I physically uh, everything I've done in this trailer has made it so I, I can do it without having to lift. I, I make it so my water bottles fit in the back of the truck and pump into the tanks. I, I have a, a portable waste tank that I, I pump my water or my, my gray water into and take it uh, to, to be dumped and, and I never have to lift it whatsoever. Everything is, is set up so that I, I don't have to pick anything up. So, folks, if if you're on a disability, Jim's a really prime example of how you can you can be a full-time RVer 
even with some limited, pretty limited abilities. Well, I, I, I'm not allowed to pick up or push or pull any more than 10 pounds. Yeah. That's... And, and it's not, a, I shouldn't, if I do, I, I, I pay for it. Um, I, my legs go numb, my arms go numb, and the, the more I do, the more number they get. Uh, and so, are you very far away from Social Security then? I, if you, if it what takes is a while. it, 62? Is 62 the, is it. So, I, I've got eight years to Social Security. Oh, wow, you're a young guy. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm not broke, but I, I've also set it up, you know, the solar and, and all of that make it so I, I don't pay for a lot of propane. I, I don't pay for gasoline in a generator. I, um, the, the solar cooking and, and the, the hot water, you know, everything is set up to save me money. The, the cheap and free internet, you know, I, I, outside of my business phone, I, I pay $35 for all of my internet devices. Oh, and, wow. Uh, and so another question people always want to know is, are you using your tanks? You're, you're using the, the toilet and the shower? It, uh, on the rare occasion that I, I'm in a, an RV park, and I, I do that once in a great while, um, I, I use both tanks, black and gray. Out here, I bag my toilet. It saves a lot of water and it doubles my gray water capacity. So I, I yeah, I, I use my sinks and I, I use my shower. Um, when you say bag your toilet, you actually put a bag inside the toilet? Right. And then you use it? Right. And, and uh, Although I would assume you use a, a, something for a urinal of some kind for urine. Right. Right. You know, and, and if I do need to go into town for food, well then, Boy, I, I, I'm going to get water and, and I'm going to take that portable waste tank with me and, and do as much as I possibly can. Right. But you're not pulling the whole trailer into town. Right. No, I, I, I do. If I set this thing up, I, I want to sit. It, it, it takes a lot out of me. Even set up the way I have it, it, it takes a lot out of me to set it up and, and then pack it up and, and take it with me again. So, so do you have any regrets so far? in in uh, this new way of life no it's um i, I couldn't be happier really? uh no I, I i just don't um i i i had the option of not using this trailer of selling it and getting a class a or a class c or um it goes places that they just never will yeah. Occasionally, I worry about getting the dog. It's a very limiting factor. He costs money. Um, but what I get out of having him is, is he, he's my company. He, he gives me a reason to get up in the morning. Um, I, I, but other than that, no. I, I, I put a lot of effort into setting myself up so I, I could be happy out here and, and could be take care of myself without hurting it and or hurting my back and my neck and I, I'm extremely happy uh, I, I've been boondocking for so long and and you know for what we were doing for two or three weeks at a time when we were out there doing it all we could say is boy wouldn't this be the life yeah and, and here it is and, and here it is I, I'm living it I'm, I'm doing what I've dreamed of for 30 years living your dream right well, Jim, thank you so much for sharing your uh, your life with us and your home. And uh, would you mind take giving us a tour? I'd love to. Okay, folks. So now we will um, end this video, and then we'll do a tour of uh, of Jim's rig, and then we'll also have videos on his internet, how he gets virtually unlimited internet for very very little money, and also on solar, how to set up an amazing solar system uh, on a budget. Okay, so we'll talk to you later. In the meantime, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and uh, follow your dreams. You won't regret it. Yes. <laughs> Get a dog, too. You'll never regret that. Nope. <laughs> well, maybe a tiny little bit thumbnail. <laughs>